Yo, what's going on guys? It's Trey back again here bringing in another video review. So this one's going to be a review of a comic book. Um, the comic book The Walking Dead. So as you guys may know, I do a lot of uh, Walking Dead TV show uh, reviews of each episode and stuff like that. And um, a long time ago I did a review for The Walking Dead comic book uh, for a video, but I had to take the video down due to some trouble with the YouTube channel. So I decided that I would go ahead and uh, you know revisit it and redo a review, uh, a thorough review of the comic book. Um, this review will contain some spoilers, although not too many. So if you intend on reading the comic book and you're worried about certain things getting uh, spoiled, as you kind of should be, because if you're going to read it, this is uh, the type of comic book that you want to read without knowing what's going to happen, because there's a lot of shocking moments throughout the book. Um, a lot of uh, twists that you would never expect um, Kirkman to make in this in this comic book. So um, if you're worried about that, you know, don't watch this video. It's not for you. So those of you who have either read it or don't care if I spoil it, um, let's get right into it. So at this point, we got 91 issues. Um, you know, the comic book's been coming out for about eight years. It's been, you know, in my opinion, the most exciting comic book to come out in the last, you know, 10, 20 years. Um, just just absolutely amazing every time the issue comes out you know it flies off the shelves pretty much the next issue flies right off the shelves um, this is pretty much the only comic book that I follow um, religiously at this point every other comic book is kinda like you know they go through so many changes different writers different artists you know they change a lot it's you know for me I like to read uh, I read a bunch of different titles but definitely if I had to pick just one title that I was able to read it would be The Walking Dead um, you know I, I Currently, I read like uh, Green Lantern, you know, Batman, X Men, um, you know, a few different Avenger titles and stuff like that. But definitely, The Walking Dead to me stands out as the one that every month when it comes out, I just can't wait to see what's going to happen next. And it's been that way ever since the comic book started. Robert Kirkman does such a good job of making this comic book interesting all the time. It's never had a boring moment since it started ever, not even one. Um, those of you guys who watch the TV show. The first season of the TV show is, is mostly like the first um, trade paperback, so the first uh, six uh, issues of the comic book. Okay, Past that, we get into you know some different things, and some of it's the same, some of it's different. Um, you know, let's, let's do a synopsis from the top. So uh, with the big difference being, of course, between the TV show and the comic book, in the very first um, trade paperback at the end, the sort of cliffhanger ending, is that uh, Shane um, dies. Okay, so Shane gets shot in the neck by uh, Carl uh, when he pulls a gun on Rick, basically. And, you know, that for me, I like the fact that they changed that in the TV show to let Shane live on further, because Shane's a cool character in the TV show. But in the comic book, Shane is not a cool character. He's just a dick. That's all there is to it. He's not interesting. He's not. He's very one-dimensional. He's very stubborn, and he's not, you know... He's just, he's just not a likable character in the comic book. So they, they blow by that really quickly with killing Shane off, um, and they move on from there. Now, as you go throughout the story of this comic book, it's really interesting um, for me. I think the most interesting thing about it is to start to see the characters die off. Um, so you start, you know, at the beginning you have this big group of characters. By the time the first graphic novel is done, you've already lost, you know, probably, you know, three or four people from the, the main group. Okay. And then the group changes, they take on a few new people, but then slowly but surely every few episodes or every few, you know, trade paperbacks, you've got characters dying. Um, you know, they, they go around, they move around to some different places, and then they, you know, very quickly, by about the third graphic novel, they have settled at, um, or trade paperback graphic novel, I mean, they have settled at the prison, okay? So once they get to the prison and they stay at the prison, they, they stay there for a long time. They stay there for like 40 issues, I want to say 50 issues, something like that. Like they, they stay at the prison for a long time. A good portion of the, uh, the total comic book series is at the prison. Um, aside from that, you know, you've got them going around at different uh, parts, staying at uh, the farm for a little while, staying at um, the, uh, the new community they're at. Um, Staying at that initial um, place outside of Atlanta, where they were just, uh, you know, basically camping at the camp. Um, you know, those are really the only spots they've really been at so far throughout the entire, you know, the entire comic book. Um, so the prison was really a place they were at for a very, very long time. And um, I think out of you know everything I've seen from The Walking Dead to the TV show, the comic book, everything, the most exciting um, thing from any of them is the ending of the the prison. Okay. 
the part, you know, everything that happens with the, the, the governor and that story arc and how that all comes down at the end is probably the most exciting and shocking um, story arc of any comic book I have ever read, for sure. There's no question about it. I mean, it takes a character like Rick, who you're, you're, you're so set, and this is how he is. And major spoilers here, last warning. Um, so, you know, you, you think of him as like a family man. You think of him as, you know, wanting to protect his son, wanting to protect his wife and his new daughter. Um, and this is the way you think of him. And, you know, that totally gets changed when you get to see, you know, Lori and uh, the baby get shot down. Totally crazy. I mean, that, that's that got to be the most shocking moment of any, you know, of any issue of the entire Walking Dead comic book series when, when Lori dies. Um, you know, and, and the other baby too, Judy. Um, so, you know, and then going on from there, like that was, that was amazing. Right, right there was the best point of the entire series. There's no question about that, at least to me anyway. Going on from there, we get to see, I find it very interesting. Some people think of it as kind of like a boring part after the prison ends. I actually like it a lot because it get, you know, it gets to show, you know, you get to see kind of, um, you know, how Rick and, you know, Carl and the rest of the characters are dealing with you know, how the fact that almost their whole group that they had at the prison is pretty much gone, you know, like, almost, you know, and, and the, the group is really, like, split in half. Like, all the characters you have before there, it's like, okay, cut that in half, and that's how many characters get to live now. Um, and, you know, so going on from there, lately we haven't seen too many character deaths, um, not too, too many, I think. I think that uh, that's okay because I mean we've seen so many over the over the years. You know the characters that are left alive now have to be you know really good survivors, man. Because otherwise, you know they're they would have died a long time ago. Um, going on, you know you've got the story with Fear of the Hunters, and here we remain. Um, you know the hunters with the uh, the cannibals. I mean those those people are you know though, that's just crazy. That's really dark. That's one of the darkest parts of the whole series. Um, there's no question about that. Just a very dark group of people, a very weird, um, you know, aura they have to them and the way they act and everything like that and what they do to Dale and all that. And then eventually Dale dying off as a character is, you know, again, I don't want to say it's really shocking because, you know, he's older and stuff, so you kind of knew it was going to happen, but eventually. But when it actually does and you lose one of your A-list characters from the group, it's always, it's always uh, you know, weird to see. But I think that part of them losing characters as they go along makes it really feel like, you know, it's exciting. You know, you're really excited to see what's going to happen next, you know, who, what's going to happen with the characters. Are they going to survive? Are they going to make it? Because sometimes they don't. And that that's really what makes it interesting. You know, it makes it worth reading. It's because, you know, it's not like, you know, in most comic books where you, you know the good guy's always going to win. In this story, the good guy doesn't always win. Sometimes the good guy gets his hand chopped off. Sometimes the good guy's wife gets shot in the stomach. Sometimes the good guy's son, or sorry, you know, gets his eye blown off, or gets, <laughs> or daughter gets shot. You know, you just don't see these kinds of things in any other comic book, which is what I think makes this so different, so special. But that's what it is. It's a horror comic book. You know, it's based in a zombie apocalypse world. So, to be realistic to that world, these types of things are, you know, this is going to happen. This is just kind of the way it is for them now. So, and then going on to the, the community that they have now that they're building up, um, Alexandria, I believe it's called. So, you know, that community and everything has been, you know, uh, very exciting to see. And, uh, you know, as, as the series goes on further, you know, just always, I'm always excited to see the next, uh, the next issue. And, you know, it's still my favorite comic book out of any comic book out there right now. It's still the one I, you know, just, just go to grab every time it comes out. So, uh, in terms of what I can give this as a score, I mean... This this series, um, you know, did something in comic books that I didn't even think was possible. You know, it, it's really just you know, um, it's setting a standard, you know, for what for what zombie uh, the zombie genre can be, you know, for what horror the horror genre in comics can be, you know, um, setting it to the point where you know your characters aren't just stereotypes in a horror flick. You actually care about the characters, which is what makes it so amazing. You actually give a shit. And then when they do die, you're like, holy shit, that's crazy. You, know, you just can't believe that this happened, right? Um, so, you know, pretty much what I'm saying is, is that if I have to give this a score out of 10, i got to give this a 10. In the genre it is in, this is one of the best stories. This is definitely the best zombie story ever, ever told. There's no question about that. Compared to the movies, compared to the books, anything, I don't care, bar none, this is the best. This is by far the best zombie story ever told, comic book. 
And the TV show could surpass it, but it's kind of the same thing. It's just they're doing it differently. Um, you know, but definitely I gotta give this a 10 out of 10 for what it is. It's, uh, it's amazing. It takes you down different twists. It's, um, it's garnered enough attention to get its own TV show. It's going to have its own video games. I mean, you know, really the idea was, was good in the beginning. And that is the premise of, you know, create a zombie story that doesn't end, okay, after two hours. You know what I mean? That doesn't end after the characters have had some fun and a group of raiders come into the mall and destroy it all. You know, um, let's see what it's like in the long term. You know, not the short term. Let's see what happens to these characters. Okay, they're in the shit. Okay, they have, you know, enough food for a little while. But what about a year after that? What about two years after that? What are those characters like at that point? What happens to them in two or three years? That's interesting. And that's what basically the idea that Robert Kirkman came up with at the beginning. That's the idea. That's the spark. Okay, and going from there, the reason why the, the series works so well is because the idea, the, you know, the original thought of it is what is so special, you know. They figured it out. Okay, they, they, he basically, he figured out this is how you have to do, you know, this kind of story, and he did it. And this comic book, I'm telling you, if you have not read it, or you know, you like the TV show, you definitely need to check it out. Uh, I'm going to give this comic book a 10 out of 10. It is my favorite comic book ever, and I believe it set the bar for any zombie story, you know, or horror, you know, horror or anything to be told. I mean, this this is really something special. So. That's my review for now, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll probably do another touch-up, maybe another 50 issues or 100 issues or who knows in a few years. And we'll see how it goes. Later, guys. Peace.